Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're gonna focus on the Bitcoin price, we're also gonna have a look into Ethereum and what are my expectations for this upcoming week. So let's start here in the 4 hour time frame for Bitcoin, we are seeing a nice breather here in the last couple of hours and it looks like that Bitcoin is gearing up here to fight this uh, top of the EMA ribbons resistance currently at around $60,000. So far we didn't manage to break above but there are some signs that a potential bottom is in here with this low that we had at $55,600 and that we could gear up here for a nice uh, rally potentially even above the bearish retracement level of $63,500. But as long as we are below this bearish retracement level here so below $63,500 there is still a high risk that here we could create a lower high in the bigger time frames like the daily and therefore come back down to then finally test the main support at around $52,000. So $52,000 is still in the cards, even though we could see here a nice relief rally up towards this bearish retracement level from this huge correction that we had so far. So that's why this uh, price point here at around $63,500 is going to be key uh, to see where we are heading to next, because this relief rally that we are seeing still could end up in a lower high and therefore then continue the correction phase. So in the four hour, we are now trading above the 20 moving average and uh, here we still have negative money flow and a potential sell signal that could be confirmed here in the next coming uh, minutes. In about 40 minutes, we are going to confirm the sell signal and therefore we could expect that we will come back down in the next coming hours to potentially retest the 20 moving average and also the $58,000 area, which previously was resistance and now it should be acting as a new support. And this is also where we close the CL is on Friday so that's why I expect that we most likely are going to stay here at around $58,000 until we are opening up again the CMEs and you can see that here we closed with a confirmed buy signal in the four hour time frame and that's why I believe that as soon as the CMEs are starting to trade again so on Monday or Tuesday we should then have here nice continuation to the upside so I'm very bullish for this upcoming week I expect continuation to the upside at least up here towards $63,500 but in the immediate short term it is still possible that we are coming down again towards $58,000 maybe even have some weeks to the downside to finally then uh, gear up for another leg to the upside and you can see that here we also have the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame at this uh, price range up here so that's why I think a relief rally up towards this price level is very likely here uh, at least in the beginning of next week and then we're gonna see what will happen because if we go over into the daily time frame you can see here again that we are getting now resistance at the 50 daily moving average. So we need to close again daily candles as soon as possible above the 50 daily moving average. So above 60K in order to at least come up here to retest the 20 daily moving average at around $62,500 and also this bearish retracement level up here. And if this previous support area now is acting as a new resistance, then this could end up in a lower high. And therefore at the end, we could come back down to retest the main support down here of this bigger channel where we also have more or less here the 100 daily moving average lining up. So there are some signals that here we could get a potential relief rally but here also create a lower high if Bitcoin is getting rejected here. So we want to see 4 hour and daily closes again above this uh, potential new resistance area up here. So as soon as we are above of it, so as soon as we are above this bearish retracement level it's perfectly coinciding with this previous support area which now could be acting as a new resistance then we should be good to go to the upside and therefore continuing creating higher highs and higher lows also here in the daily time frame and uh, this lower low that we had here compared to this one over here was just a fake out and uh, why I also believe that this could be the case is because we have right now a potential buy signal coming up very very soon money flow is still stable but the RSI is below the 50 level so we need that confirmed buy signal as soon as possible in the daily time frame we need to go above the 50 level again in the RSI and of course start to close again daily candles above the 50 daily moving average and therefore also above the EMA ribbons again because so far we are trading right at the bottom of it so if here we're getting rejected a big what fall at least down towards 52k is possible but if Bitcoin here is able to recover back above the 50 daily moving average things will start to look extremely 
bullish and this is also what we can see here over in the Bollinger Bands and Keltner channels right now Bitcoin is successfully recovering back inside the Keltner channels so if today we can close above the bottom of the Keltner channel so right here at $58,500 it's very likely that in the next coming hours and days we are coming up to test the median line at around $61,000 and if we're able to break above then we could test up here the top of the Keltner channels which is currently also at around 64 k so more or less where we have that bearish retracement level here the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level and that's why if we are seeing a nice relief rally up towards 64k and here right at the top of the Keltner channels we're getting rejected then this will be the confirmation that we are creating here a lower high and at the top of the Keltner channels is now new resistance and whenever the top of the Keltner channels is resistance for Bitcoin we should be ready for more corrective phases here and that's why if we are confirming this new resistance then things will start to look ugly for the month of November but I still gonna remain optimistic that latest in December we are going to create again new all-time highs but if Bitcoin here is able to push above the top of the Keltner channels then of course although the month of November will look extremely bullish so everything is going to be depending what will happen once we're reaching here the top of the Keltner channels currently at around 64k where we also have here the bearish retracement level and on the weekly time frame so far we are potentially going to close above the nine weekly moving average which of course is very bullish because we have that sell signal appearing here on the weekly scale but as long as this sell signal is in play which will be confirmed by tomorrow there is still a high risk that at the end we could end up to test the 20 weekly moving average currently at around fifty one thousand dollars by next week the 20 weekly moving average will be somewhere up here at around fifty three thousand dollars so the more time we spend above the 20 and 9 weekly moving average uh, the lower we can fall because if we're gonna remain above the nine weekly moving average for the next coming days and weeks then also this moving average here will rise up by time and therefore also that means that we could fall lower that we don't have necessarily right now to test again the 50k area so in a couple of weeks this moving average will be also higher and therefore we could also fall lower because once we are falling below the 20 moving average and we're starting to close weekly candles below the 20 moving average so below this main support here of this rising channel then the bearish scenario could play out that we are in here for some bigger corrections maybe even down sub 40k again. Again, and that of course uh, would deny a potential end of the year rally for the crypto market which in my opinion is not likely but just that you have that in your radar for the worst case scenario if we are closing again weekly candles below the 20 weekly moving average but since all time frames in theory are looking bullish even here the weekly time frame even with this uh, sell signal we are still creating higher lows and higher highs money flow is still increasing and positive i still gonna remain with the opinion that the big gains are still here to come my friends and very very soon bitcoin will continue the uptrend will continue to create new all-time highs and also will finally break this huge resistance that we have in front of us here at around seven $75,000 and once this is broken we are probably heading towards 100k and way way higher levels and if Bitcoin here is able to straight away recover we will see the same thing also over in the altcoins especially here on Ethereum because I told you that Ethereum currently is leading the pump and here we are already very close to this bearish retracement level where we also have the 20 daily moving average lining up at around four thousand five hundred dollars this is also perfectly matching here with the median line of the Bollinger Bands and also here for Ethereum once we are pushing above this price level and we are coming up to test the top of the Keltner channels currently at around four thousand six hundred dollars then I think that also Ethereum is out of the woods and we can move on towards new all-time highs and of course higher highs and the correction is already already done because here we already have a confirmed buy signal and also the RSI is right here at the 50 level so if we are seeing here Ethereum building up a new support at this previous resistance area at $4,300 and is able to push above this bearish retracement level so let's say above $4,500 to $4,600 then also here we should be good to go to the upside and that could be also a very nice leading indicator that Bitcoin will follow Ethereum very very soon because here we're still lagging behind a bit and uh, also here for Bitcoin if we are testing now this $58,000 area as a support then in my opinion the correction is over and we will head again uh, towards a new all-time highs in the next coming days and weeks.
So short term, we still could see some uh, pullbacks and uh, depending where we're going to see the next four hour closes for Bitcoin and Ethereum, this will decide then if first we have to come back down to retest important supports or maybe even have a final test here of this 52k area before we definitely bottom out and gear up again towards new all time highs. Because in my opinion, very soon we are going to see huge pumps again. And it's just a matter of time until we are going to confirm those new supports and move on towards new all time highs. So with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and check out all the referral links that you find in the video description, because with all of them, you will get some extra bonus and extra money if you sign up with my links, especially here over on Delta Exchange, Bybit, Femex, and also here over on the MCS exchange currently here you can get up to $500 in trading bonus so make sure to claim all those bonuses that you can get when you sign up with the links down below here in the video description so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye